Hi everyone, today we're going to ride the rocket to the stars and we're going to be using Scratch to code this game today. Ah, hey if you're new to coding or you need a refresher, please check out my learn to code videos on YouTube which will get you up to speed pretty quickly. I also suggest that you subscribe and follow me because I post videos quite frequently. Um, let's get started with today's activity. So I'm going to go to Scratch, and I'm already here, scratch.mit.edu. I'm going to click the Create button because we're creating a brand new game today, so click Create. If a tutorial pops up, you can exit the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. You can also say goodbye to the Scratch cat, so goodbye to the cat. Now I'm going to get a backdrop that works with our outer space theme. There's a whole bunch to use. Uh, I'm going to use Galaxy this time. I like that one, Galaxy. There's also another one called Nebula, which is also terrific. Maybe I'll use Nebula today. So uh, maybe I'll click on... No, I'm going to go with Galaxy. So there's my Galaxy. Now I'm going to go get a rocket sprite. So I'm going to click down here on the sprites and go find the rocket. It's under the letter R. So I'm going to go way down and get the rocket sprite. There it is right there. Hey, the rocket is awfully big for this game. Right now it's 100. I'm going to make it 30%. So I'm going to make it quite small, 30%. There it is, perfect. Now I'm going to have the rocket start way down here at the bottom of the screen today. So look what I'm going to do. When the green flag is clicked, uh, let me make this a little bit bigger for you at home or at school, wherever you happen to be coding this game today. When the green flag is clicked, I want it to go to, go to, um, 0 and negative 170, negative 170, and then negative is right beside the 0 up on the top of your keyboard. So go to 0 and negative 170, let's see where that is. Ready, green flag again? Good, that's where I wanted to start. Now I want it to point to my mouse pointer wherever that happens to be, and then move 5 steps and do that forever and ever, and I can have it follow me all over the screen. So, forever um point to the mouse pointer so it's in the motion point towards mouse pointer and then move um five steps so move five steps so point towards the mouse pointer move five steps do that forever and ever so let's see how that looks ready green flag and go yeah except one problem look i don't like that the rocket is going in uh upside down and sideways like that i want it to stay upright the whole time so there's a little trick to that. Look, you can see the direction of the uh, rocket right here, the direction. And the direction I want it always pointing in is like that, 90 degrees. I want it always pointing 90 degrees. So look, I'm going to go to the motion button. I'm already here and point in direction 90. So I'm going to put that right there. So point towards the mouse pointer, move five steps, and then point in the direction 90. Let's see how that looks. Ready? Green flag and go. Yeah, look at that. It looks really nice. Okay. Hey, I'm going to pause there. Let everybody catch up. So you're going to go to scratch.mit.edu. You're going to hit the create button. Get rid of the tutorial. Get rid of the cat. Go find a space backdrop. Then get a rocket ship sprite the way I've done here shrink it so it's a lot smaller it'll be a more fun game if the rocket is smaller i went all the way down to 30 percent and then code your rocket to go to zero and negative 170 way at the bottom when you hit the green flag and then forever point to the mouse pointer move five steps and this is new always point in the direction 90 so it's always upright like this hey if you get stuck please please take a look at my code when you're ready for the next part i'll be here waiting All right, so next part, let's go get a star because the rocket is trying to capture all the stars. So I'm going to go down to the Sprites button here, and I'm going to look for the star. And of course, it starts with an S, so it's way at the bottom. Star. There it is right there, the star. So I'm going to click on the star. Oh, good, I like the size of it. Now, I want the star to spin slowly, so look what I'm going to do. When the green flag is clicked, turn... Not 15 degrees, because that's a bit too much. I'm going to make it something like 2 degrees or 1 degrees. And then just do that forever. So the star is forever turning. Okay, let's see how that looks. Ready? Green flag and go. Look at how beautifully that's turning. Nice, I like that. So that's good. 
Now I'm going to have the star appear in a random spot. And if it gets touched by the rocket, it disappears. So I'm going to get another green flag. Green flag. Okay, green flag. Go to a random spot. When a green flag is clicked, I want the star to go to a random spot. So that's under the motion again, the blue one. Go to a random position. Good. Now I want it to forever check to see if it's touching the rocket. And if it is, it's going to hide. So forever if touching if right there if and now touching if touching the rocket touching is a sense it's in the sensing touching i'm going to grab that one and put it in there and let go perfect if touching the rocket ship if it is touching the rocket ship it should hide so hide is under the looks button it's the purple looks and i think it's way at the bottom you're going to scroll way down there if touching the rocket ship, then hide. Okay, I think we're done the star. So forever turning two degrees. And when a green flag is clicked, go to a random spot and forever check to see if it's touching the rocket ship. If it is touching the rocket ship, it's going to hide. Let's test it out. Ready? Green flag. Okay, went way over there. Perfect, and it hid. Let's try again. Ready? Green flag. Wait, where is it? Let me try again. Ready? Green flag. There's no star. Well, that's because it's hiding. Whenever you use a hide, you should probably always use a show. So let me get a show, and I'm just going to put it in here. After it goes to a random position, then it's going to show itself. And then uh, check to see if it's touching the rocket ship. Okay, let's ch test it out again. Ready? Green flag and go. There it is. Good. Let's try it again. Ready? Green flag. There it is. Perfect. Yeah, we just had to sh have it show itself. All right, I think we're done this star. I'm going to leave the code up here. If you get stuck, please, please take a look at my code. And I'm just going to pause. And when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting for you. Okay, now that we've coded the star just perfectly, all the code is just right. Now I'm going to duplicate the star. So I'm going to put the mouse pointer on top of the star. I'm going to put two fingers on the touchpad and gently press down on the, on the touchpad and duplicate it. There we go. Now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to duplicate it. Perfect. And duplicate. And duplicate. You can duplicate it as many times as you want uh, to make the game easier or harder. Let's just see how that looks. Yep, they're random. Perfect. Okay. So now that we've got um, five stars on the screen, and you may have more or you may have less, now we're going to introduce one last sprite. Something that glides all over the place, and if it hits the rocket, it's game over. And what I'm going to get is a flying hippo. You can get whatever you want. There's lots of sprites to choose from. I like the hippo. So I'm going to find the hippo. There he is right there. I'm going to double click him. I think he's a little bit too big for this game. So I'm just going to shrink him a little bit. Maybe 70%. Perfect. You'll have to decide how big to make your sprite. If you choose a hippo, you might want to make it 70. Whatever else you choose, you'll have to decide how big or small to make your final uh, sprite. So now we got to code the hippo to glide all over to a random spot. So look what I'm going to do. Green flag. When the green flag is clicked, I want it to glide to a random position. That's in the motion. Uh, glide to a random position. So it's going to glide somewhere, I don't know where, and it's going to glide pretty quickly, one second. And then I'm going to have him do this forever and ever. So he's forever gliding to a random position. Okay, let's test it out. Ready? Green flag and go. Okay. Nice, he's gliding. Good, let's just start from the beginning again and try one more time. Okay, you know what I'm going to have happen? I'm going to have the hippo start at a random spot each time. So before he starts gliding forever, he's going to go to a random spot or a random position. Go to a random position and then start gliding to random positions over and over. Ready, green flag and go. There we go. That looks good. Ah, all right. So we're just going to pause. I'm going to let you duplicate the stars, and once again, put the mouse pointer star, two fingers on the touchpad, touch duplicate, and then you've got another star. 
And then go and get another sprite. I got a hippo. And I coded the hippo to when the green flag is clicked, go to a random position. And then forever glide to a random position over and over again. So I'm just going to pause there. We're almost done. we got one more thing to do. Um, but I'm going to let you catch up. If you get stuck, please, please take a look at my code. And I'll see you in a few minutes for the last part. Okay, the last thing. If the hippo touches the rocket, that's game over. So watch how I code that. I'm going to go back to the rocket. So I'm going to click on the rocket. And I'm going to code it so that if it's touching the hippo, everything stops. Watch how I do that. I'm going to get another green flag. So green flag. Okay, let me move this over a bit. Green flag. Forever check to see if touching hippo. So forever. Uh, forever. If. If. If touching hippo. And touching is in the sensing. And it's touching mouse pointer. I'm going to change that in a minute. If touching hippo green flag forever check to see if touching the hippo if touching the hippo then i want the uh, rocket to hide so it's in the looks button hide and i want everything to stop so there's a button called stop all i think it's in the orange control stop all yeah there it is so the stars stop spinning the hippo freezes um the rocket doesn't move stop all all right let's see how this looks so again i'm on a rocket ship when the green flag is clicked forever check to see if touching the hippo if touching the hippo then stop uh first hide and then stop everything okay ready green flag let's see how this works oh i gotta get those stars without getting hit by the hippo but let's see what happens when i get hit by the hippo Yep, look at that. The rocket ship hid and everything stopped. Perfect. Let's just try one more time. Ready? Green flag and go. Wait, there's no rocket. Well, there's no rocket, remember, because I used a hide earlier. If you use a hide, you've always got to use a show. Otherwise, it'll just remain hidden. So I'm going to grab a show. Green flag. Okay, remember, this is not inside the loop. Green flag. Show. Then forever check to see if touching the hippo. If it is, then hide and stop all. Let's test out our game one last time. Ready? Green flag and go. Oh, get all the stars. But don't get hit by the hippo. Yes, I got them all. Now let's see what happens when I get hit by the hippo. Yep, everything stops. Perfect. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that game. Um, if you get stuck, please, please take a look at my code. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing you at our final lesson in this series. And uh, yeah, have a good rest of your day, everyone. Thank you.